Tenara Tata Kato. Today is Thursday, the 5th of May 2022, and as usual, uh, after Karakia, we will have oral questions to ministers. Uh, question number one is in the name of Brooke Van Velden, and she is asking a question to the Minister of Housing uh, about healthy home standards uh, in Kainga Order Homes. Uh, question number two is from Helen White uh, to the Minister of Energy and Resources and she's asking what actions the government uh, is taking to decarbonise Auckland's harbour ferries. Question number three in the name of Chris Bishop is to the Associate Minister of Housing, Public Housing and he's asking um, how many people are on state housing wait uh, lists uh, compared to September uh, 2017. Uh, question number four from Glenn Bennett to the Minister, of, uh, Minister for Social Development and Employment and is asking what recent announcements uh, she has made about care in the community. Uh, question number five from the Honourable Louise Upston is to the Minister for Social Development and Employment uh, and she's asking, uh, does she stand by all of her statements and actions? Uh, question number six is in the name of Arena Williams and she, who, uh, she is asking uh, the Minister for Māori Development what reports has he seen on education and employment outcomes for Rangatahi Māori. Uh, the Honourable Mark Mitchell will ask question number seven to the Minister of Police um, and is asking if she stands by her statement on the premise that gang tensions have uh, not increased under this government's watch. Question number eight is from Te Ano. Uh, Tuyono to the Minister for COVID-19 Response um, and he's asking a question uh, whether or not the, um, the government is ensuring its response is the best available um, based on the best available scientific evidence. Um, Question number nine, Maya Lubeck is asking the Associate Minister of Education uh, what recent announcements has the government made about supporting regular attendance and engagement in education? And question number 10 from Penny Simmons, um, also to the uh, Minister of Education, um, and is asking about the financial deficit of Te Pukinga forecasted for 2022. And question number 11, uh, in the name of Greg O'Connor, to the Minister of Transport and is asking what recent announcements has he made about supporting greater access to driver licensing, testing and training? And question number 12 in the name of Tony Severin uh, to the Minister of Corrections uh, and her question is about uh, prisoner on staff assaults. Um, Following um, the, uh, oral questions, um, the, uh, we will go into the um, first item of business, which is the Government Notice of Motion Number 1, uh, and this is a debate on the approval of the misuse of drugs, classifications and pres um, presumption of supply, Order uh, 2022. Uh, that will be a relatively short debate. It is a debate on changes or adding um, a number of um, new drugs onto that list. Uh, following that, we will have the first reading of the Fisheries Amendment Bill in the name of the Honourable David Parker. Uh, this uh, bill makes changes and amendments uh, to commercial and recreational fishing uh, regulations. Uh, following that, we will have the continued uh, debate on the second reading of the Pi Order Healthy Futures Bill. Uh, this bill um, provides a new structure and new accountability arrangements 
uh, for a publicly funded health system. And if we have time after that, we will move on to the uh, continued debate on the third reading of the Protected Disclosures Protection of Whistleblowers Bill um, in the name of the Honourable Chris Hipkins. And this bill replaces the Disclosures, uh, sorry, uh, Protected Disclosures Act 2000, which enables people to report serious wrongdoing directly to an appropriate authority. Um, the House will then adjourn until 2pm on Tuesday the 10th of May 2022. Tēnā katoa.